Boxing clever is our new mantra. It has to be. We're going to need thousands of these three metre cubed metal boxes to store our nuclear waste for centuries to come. And this is one of our first ever production line boxes which will house the waste from the pile fuel cladding silo. The nuclear industry doesn't normally do mass production. Very often we make one-off solutions for one-off jobs. But we're going to need 2,200 of these boxes for just this one silo and many thousands of similar ones for other decommissioning jobs. So this container has been made, it's been signed off against a very strict specification, so it's been signed off by our inspectors who've followed it throughout the life of its production. Um, this container will be used in um, commissioning for the retrievals programme and it's to exactly the specification that will be used for decades to come. It's been very important to make sure that we're only producing a box that's fit for purpose. So for example, um, you'll see from the container itself, it's not, it's not perfect, it's not shiny, it is ultimately there to contain waste. Um, there's, there's been elements of the design that have been stripped back, there's been elements that have been simplified. We've even drop tested them to check they stay intact as nearly one and a half tonnes comes crashing down. By minimising waste and automating their manufacture, the mass-produced boxes will cost less than half the price of the first prototypes. Getting the design right and adapting it to changes in how we will retrieve the waste has taken around a decade. We never thought it'd take 10 years. We thought uh, we'd, we'd make a few prototypes and then we'd get into volume manufacture. But uh, we've, we've had to um, move with the, with the development of the retrievals processes uh, which has changed a few times over the years. The boxes will be used to help empty one of the world's oldest nuclear waste stores. Once filled by our retrievals equipment, they will be transferred to a new modern store before eventually being stored underground in a geological disposal facility. It's a hazard reduction mission of national importance and has other benefits. For Darkem, it's securing work in their new £8 million factory and with the finishing work done up the road in Gateshead, it's more than a decade of guaranteed work for one of the UK's areas of greatest need. If you look at the unemployment rates around the UK, the North East has got the highest unemployment rates across the UK. You know, laterally there was a, you know, a huge shipbuilding industry, both Sunderland, Middlesbrough, Newcastle. You know, that's been gone for multiples of years now. Nissan are a big employer, but a lot more northerly than us. But in this region, you know, the, the, we're, we're, we're the biggest employer in the region. The Prentice end tickets helped us you know, like winning this contract, looking into the future to say, you know, to get into stable production. We want to make sure there's a, more sort of new blood coming into the organisation. As the boxes will need to safely contain intermediate level waste for at least 500 years, they need to be made from super strong, corrosion resistant duplex steel. They're highly engineered products double-lined and able to safely vent any hydrogen which could build up inside. It's a challenging material to shape and weld, meaning Sellafield has had to invest in the machines making them. Here at Metalcraft in Cambridgeshire, where the other half of our power fuel cladding silo boxes are being made, we've bought and installed our own robotic welding machine as well as other fabricating and finishing equipment. It means we've got a ring-fenced production capability of two boxes every week from this firm alone. Metalcraft has invested in its workshops, getting them to the high-spec, contamination-free environment we need. It's also been investing in its people, taking on ten apprentices a year since being awarded the contract. From day one we've been doing sort of nuclear training. We did a triple bar nuclear course about halfway through our first year learning the principles of engineering in the nuclear industry and also I gained an interest just by looking at the visuals that they'd offered us, pictures, videos and sort of even the drawings of the stuff that we'd be making here and I just feel that that's what made me and really helped the apprenticeship and just made me feel that that's what I want to do. Um, I think it's attractive for uh, the government to invest in SMEs to, um, to, to build up the, the skills within UK manufacturing um, I think there's a, a lot of potential um, within the manufacturing sector in the UK and the government investing in companies like Metalcraft allow the smaller companies to, to grow into a position where they can provide more jobs um, for local people. 
for those involved in delivering our new mass-produced 3 meter cubed boxes, being able to see the first finished products well ahead of retrieval starting is a special moment. It's really important to recognise the progress we have made since the, uh, the initiation of the contract. So I'm very proud of the work that has been done. I'm very proud of the commitment that uh, DARKM has shown through, uh, through, the, through the full process. I've seen the teams get established um, and to actually see a product at the end of that process and to know that what we envisaged at the start of the process has actually come to, to fruition is, is probably one of the proudest moments in my time at Sellafield.